There you go. Your flat B has started to uh, show itself. Uh, beautiful up here this morning. I watched my step this morning. It did rain last night. And uh, yeah, the rocks are going to be slippery. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got to go over this way. <clears throat> Come down here. Well, we're still coming down Franconia Ridge here. Uh-huh. Making our way toward Little Haystack Mountain. And, uh, yeah. We got fogged in. So we got them beautiful views before it fogged us in. Isn't that nice, huh? He's got a beautiful shot of the sun right there in the fog. And anyway, let me get the stepping, guys. I gotta make up some time today. Well, I tell you what, man, I love this time of the year when the leaves are dropping and uh, yeah, the colors changing. All the beautiful colors along the trail here, on the trail. I mean, this is my time of the year, that's for sure. I love the fall. And uh, it's an awesome hike when I get a chance to hike through the fall, that's for sure. here well hey guys uh yeah we spent a little time down uh lincoln new hampshire went over to the mickey d's man got something to eat you know i got a few sandwiches there resupply uh yeah, i cut my hair there i uh borrowed a 
uh, shaver and shaved it up a little bit make it a little more comfortable but anyway we're getting back on the trail and yeah we got some uh, rain coming in so uh we're only gonna go to uh well we're gonna go to the next shelter it's only a mile and a half away we're here at the uh well route 112 and uh yeah we're gonna make our way to beaver uh brick shelter yeah it's a mile and a half away and uh and rain's supposed to be coming in so uh we'll stay there tonight and then what we'll do is uh we'll start hiking again uh yeah they say it's supposed to get colder so uh we'll be back we'll be past most of the big mountains here and uh yeah we got some mountains in vermont but uh it'll be nice hiking uh and we will be out of the uh the high mountains elevations of five and six thousand feet Anyway, let me get the step in here. The work's coming down pretty good because we did get some rain last night. So we don't want to get the uh, boots wet right now. I did get a chance to dry them off, so I got to be careful here. Well, there's a beautiful waterfall, huh? Right on the trail. That's pretty sweet.
Well, we do have some beautiful falls right through here as we're going up this mountain. But I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, it's a serious climb coming out of uh, Lincoln, New Hampshire. Uh, yeah, check this out. I mean, we just keep on going up and up and up. So, uh, yeah, we got some uh, serious climbing here to get to this shelter, which is really only, uh, well, it's got to be, I would think, less than a mile away now. It's probably at the top of the mountain, I would think. But anyway, I got to be careful on these rocks, guys. I mean, it's been raining. It rained last night, and they're all wet, so... Well, we've been climbing this hill forever, man. I'll tell you what. What a, what a hill. Uh, you got the falls coming up. Well, the stream coming down with this trail. But this trail is nothing but straight up the hill. Um, a lot of rock climbing here. And, uh, well, we made it to, uh, it looks like, uh, Beaver Brook Shelter here. But uh, we're going to go check it out. I mean, I still got an hour or so of daylight. But we're going to take a look at it and see what we got. But the trail definitely still goes up. Uh, yeah, straight up yet for a while. I guess so we're, uh, well. <laughs> we're getting toward the, uh, something right here. There's no way this is the shelter. This has got to be the outhouse. Which is, uh, hey, let's take a look while we're here. Um, yeah, interesting. Huh? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there's the privy <laughs> the outhouse uh yeah well, that's nice it's right here uh yeah the shelter's right over here so that's cool let's go take a look at it and see what we got here oh yeah oh it's nice to be up here right now i'll tell you what man that was a good climb and uh it's not raining yet it's not supposed to start raining till around i think after six maybe seven so uh really i could still do some hiking and pitch a tent up but uh, let's go take a look at the shelter here and uh, see what we got. Uh. Alright, let's make sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's nobody in the shelter, so. Oh, there's the shelter. Pretty nice. Okay. That's gonna do for tonight. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, yeah, stay here tonight, and, uh, and then we'll be going uh, first thing tomorrow. Uh, nice and fresh we'll be, you know, to do some more hiking. Uh, Beaver Brook Shelter. I guess it was built in 1993. Uh, uh, there you go. Anyway, uh, it looks like we have, uh, well, we got the privy, and uh, we got water over here if we need it. We made it up here, uh, as you can see. Yeah, I'm wet. It rained a little bit, but, you know, it's mostly from... Uh, it's humid. It's been humid out for the last several days here. So, uh, but uh, we're up at the shelter here, and that's good. Uh, I'm gonna set up my. Uh, I'm gonna set up my stuff. Uh huh. And uh, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I haven't gotten to sleep in the last couple of nights. Uh, I'm gonna do some stealth camping uh, and uh, stay at another place, and it just, you know. So maybe we're in a shelter tonight by myself, and I'll be able to sleep really good tonight. Uh, not, not hear anybody snoring. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let me get a bite to eat, guys. I gotta set things up, and uh, well, good night, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the trail. Yeah, thanks for watching. That's my hit. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad. Uh, yeah, uh, I do a pretty good job, I think. It's not too bad. <laughs> good night, everybody. Hey guys, here's a view from my shelter. I don't think the stars are gonna come out tonight. We're definitely expecting rain tonight, so. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Hopefully it'll clear out for tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See you down the trail. Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're just getting back on the trail here, and uh, as you can see, yeah, well, it rained last night. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was expecting to get rain, and uh, yeah, the trail's all wet. Uh, we got a little bit of a stream coming down it right now.
yeah as we make our way up the mountain here uh yeah we got quite a few uh rocks right now and uh of course water we got some puddles here and there <laughs> and uh but so far we're not getting uh rained on it's getting windy though and uh temperatures are supposed to drop uh starting uh pretty much uh today and by next week we're gonna get uh well 50s during the day and uh, 30s at night so um it's gonna start getting colder i'm good though i got my winter gear um and i'll tell you what i really don't mind hiking in the colder temperatures i mean i i kind of like it uh, you know i can start moving a little faster when it's uh when it's colder out but anyway Hey guys, well we're making our way towards uh, Musalaki, yeah Mount Musalaki, uh, I guess that's the way you pronounce it, I mean I could be wrong, <laughs> Musalak, uh-huh, well anyway, um, yeah but you know we're cloud in today, we're not going to see many views that's for sure, but uh, you could definitely uh, check out the trail, uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the trail while we're hiking down through here and uh, making our way toward that mountain. So, yeah, the trail is still uh, wet and slippery, a lot of rocks, but uh, and it's getting pretty windy out. Um, the temperatures are starting to drop today. We only got about, uh, well, about another half a mile to get to the top of uh, Mount Musalaki. Or a mount, or a musalak, however you want to say it. Let's get to stepping.
Well, it stopped uh, raining out, so we still got an overcast day, but uh, it's really beautiful right now on the trail, especially this part of the trail. It's nice and smooth. I'm really enjoying this section right here. Check out the size of this white place, huh? Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one that big uh, yet. I'm pretty close to it, man. They got some big white places around here, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're on top of a, uh, well, on top of, or uh, hiking up toward the top of uh, Mist Mountain, uh-huh, New Hampshire. Yep, yeah, it's uh, mid-October here. And uh, as you can see, we got a lot of color, uh, but uh, we still got the overcast. Uh, you know, the sun popped out a little bit here and there, but it's mostly cloudy today. And uh, I know we're getting a storm coming in tonight. Uh, there's a 60% chance, 50% chance all night. So uh, we're just trying to get to a spot where we can either set up the tent or uh, well, it'd be nice to make it to a shelter, but I think the shelter's too far out. This might be the uh, view from uh, Mount Mist. Yeah, um, I know the mountains, uh, the peak of the mountains up a little ways yet, but uh, I don't know if there's a view up there or not. So uh, we're gonna get this view right here, since this might be the view to get. I really don't know how much further I'm going to go tonight. Um, I was thinking about maybe pitching up on top of this mountain right now. Uh, the wind's been dying down. And uh, I think the rain's supposed to come in tomorrow morning. So I could get up a little extra earlier and pack everything up before the rain hits. If it don't rain tonight. Back on the trail here. Um, yeah, we had to do a little bit of hiking. Uh, a little bit of hiking in the dark last night. Uh, yeah, we needed to find we needed to find a good spot to uh, pitch up the tent, and uh, took a little while to do that. Um, we got the tent pitched up, and uh, yeah, it poured last night. Uh, with quite a bit of rain uh, last night, so we did have a good spot uh, where there was good drainage right there. Uh, anyway, we got up real early this morning. I guess I better write probably around five o'clock. Because I heard that the rain was coming in uh, early this morning. So, uh, yeah, we had a window of opportunity there where the rain stopped. So I started to uh, take down the tent. And, of course, uh, right in the middle of it, I get poured on. So, yeah, we got poured on while we were taking the tent down. But anyway, uh, well, right now it's uh, it stopped raining for a while. So uh, we are able to bring the camera out here. And, uh, and uh, well, good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful morning, I'll tell you what. It's a magical morning. Uh, the colors are beautiful. Uh, the rain stopped, so right now we're getting a little break. And uh, hey, let's get to stepping and uh, check out. The sun is trying to break out this morning. It'd be nice if it came out for a little bit and dry some things out. Well, hey everybody, what's happening? <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling a lot better right now. Uh, yeah, it's been drizzling on and off, but uh, hey, we're getting a lot of clear sky. I mean, we're getting a lot of nice uh, spots where uh, the rain is stopping, so. And the trail looks beautiful. Ain't getting poured on, that's for sure. And uh, I just had my, uh, my morning happy bomb. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, man, let me tell you what happened. Uh, this morning while I was uh, taking the tent down. Well, as I was heating up my, uh, I like to call it my morning, my happy morning bomb. 
uh, which is uh, well, it's uh, it's Swiss Miss uh, hot chocolate. It's uh, either uh, I'll put uh, instant Folgers in there, or I'll put uh, well, Starbucks in there, one or the other, and then I'll put some uh, Carnation instant breakfast in it, either vanilla or chocolate, and then to top it off, we put a couple Anne's uh, mints in there, a couple of those mints in there, man, and that's a uh, that's a happy bomb in the morning. <laughs> yeah, happy morning bomb. It gets me going. Gives me my, uh, more of my chocolate, my caffeine. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, it gives me all the things that I need, my vitamins and minerals. And, uh, yeah. I also like to call it, you know, a kick in the ass. <laughs> yeah, let's get to stepping, huh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this morning what happened was, is, uh, as I was taking down the tent, uh, yeah, I spilled my happy bomb in the morning. Well, I was getting poured on, man. I'm trying to rush things. The next thing you know, I heard that thing fall over. I'm like, oh, it's the worst sound when it's just about done. And it falls over and you're getting poured on. Oh, man. I had to just get all that stuff in the pack. You know, half of it got wet and uh, just get to stepping, man. And then finally, the, the weather cleared out. So, But, hey, as we were hiking down the trail here, oh, we got a nice little... Uh, well, we got some beautiful, uh, you know, no rain, and it was looking really nice, so I had to make my uh, happy bomb right in the middle of the trail. I stopped there, and I made that thing, man. I need that kick in the morning, you know, that kick in the ass to get me going. Yeah, we just, uh, we just came over uh, Ore, Ore Mountain, uh-huh, and uh, I guess the next mountain we're going to be uh, coming to is uh, Mount Cube, something like that. Oh uh, yeah, Cube Mountain. <laughs> anyway, right now we got no rain. Uh, yeah, which is really sweet. Hey guys, hold up, hold up, car's coming. All right, let's wait, 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 wait till I get the car. Got a truck coming right now. Nothing this way. Let's hold up, guys. All right, let's go, now, move, come on. Hey, come on guys, let's go. Let's go, hey, come on, no cars, let's go. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't get those guys to move over there, man. They've been standing there probably all day, and they just don't want to get across the street. They're going to get hit. You know, they got to be careful. This is a busy road. How's it going, man? Hey, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, check this out. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It's an old foundation. Uh-huh. Uh, at one time, there was a... Uh, there's a house up in here. Uh huh. Uh, we're heading up uh, Coob Mountain. Yeah, Mount Coob. And uh, yeah, who knows when this was built? It's gonna been built back in the 1800s. Uh, it's all got a stone foundation. So uh, yeah, who knows uh, who lived here uh, many years ago? But anyway, we're still getting some beautiful weather here. Uh, as far as the uh, you know sun coming out. Well, it's back and forth. Uh, you know, it's a it's a mostly cloudy day, but it's a beautiful morning. Or should I say, well, we're getting close to the afternoon here. It's almost uh, it's almost twelve o'clock. Yeah, we're getting close to noontime. But um, yeah. yeah, just check out the colors, man. Well, we're on the uh, south uh, peak of the mountain here. So it uh, looks like we're gonna get better views here for sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, while we're hiking the AT here, we're coming up on it, which is really nice. 
Uh, we got about a mile and a half to go to get to the shelter, so that's cool. But hey, let's check out these views. And it is starting to drizzle on me, so uh, it'd be nice if it clears out so we can hang here for a little bit. But uh, let's check out these views before it starts to pour. We got some beautiful views through here, that's for sure. Here's your views. Uh huh. Yeah, on the south peak of uh, Koopa. Koopa Mountain or Koop. Coop Mountain. This is where your views are on the south peak. But as you can, uh, yeah, rain's starting to come here. So uh, we're gonna hit this just in time, and then we're gonna have to uh, make our way down to the uh, down to the shelter. But uh, yeah, beautiful views here on the mountain. Let's uh, let's go check out this side real quick. Uh, yeah, just in time to get to the top of the mountain. Here comes the rain. <laughs> the rains are coming down. Uh huh. But uh, we definitely have some beautiful views up here. No doubt about that. All right, guys, it's starting to rain here, so uh need to get the step in here and uh, make our way down toward that shelter there. Uh, like I said, we got about a mile and a half to go, so uh, it won't take long to get down there. Well, it depends on how bad this, uh, this side of the mountain is as far as going downhill. Sometimes it could be rough. Hey right, guys, well, we finally made it up to the shelter. Yeah, and I can see why they call it Hex. <laughs> there you go, right there. Huh? That's a pretty cool shelter. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's check it out. I'll tell you what. It's a uh, point two up a hill, so it's a good climb to get up to the shelter. But uh huh, I don't think I ever seen a shelter like this before. This is pretty cool. Check it out, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Now I know why they call it uh, Hexacuba. <laughs> Hexacuba shelter. There it is. It was 1989. Yeah. Uh huh. But uh, apparently got tent sites over here too. Yeah, got some tent sites over here. Kirby's up the hill. Um, well, well, we can set up just about anywhere we want in here. Very interesting. Anyway, listen, guys. I'm hungry. It's starting to rain, so I want to get my uh, bedding all set up and uh, and get a bite to eat. Yeah, I got trail hunger right now, so uh, let's take a look at the dome. I know you, a few of you guys commented that you want to see more shelters. Well, this is a pretty cool shelter right here. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. <clears throat> yeah, we made it up to the shelter, and it's a pretty cool shelter. I don't think I've seen a shelter like this yet. So, uh, yeah, it's neat to see something different here. 
and to show you guys uh, this pretty cool stuff behind me. But anyway, hey, listen, I need to get a bite to eat, man. I got trail hunger here, and I'm starving. And uh, it's starting to rain. So, uh, well, it's been raining for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I had to get off that mountain there uh, before it started pouring on me. And uh, so uh, let me get my bedding set up. And, uh, hey, good night, everybody. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you down the trail.